Today, I'll be trying my hand at some culinary diplomacy. And what better way to start than learning to cook Swedish meatballs, or schutzbullar? One of Sweden's top chefs, Niklas Ekstedt, will take me through his favorite recipe. This is the most traditional Swedish recipe there is. So I don't think you should leave Sweden without knowing how to cook proper meatballs. Yeah, what kind of experience would that be? I agree. Um, <laughs> well, I appreciate the opportunity to learn from one of the best here. So, Thank uh, you. Thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to, uh, to do a little video chat. So have you, have you got the ingredients? I did. I got all of the... Uh, we went shopping. We got all of the ingredients that you, uh, you suggested yesterday. Uh, so let's see. So you got the eggs, the butter. Uh, that's the breadcrumbs there, right? Um, that's the breadcrumbs, yep. Yeah, eggs. Nutmegs, cloves, allspice. Yeah. yeah, and then you got the grounded beef. Okay, so, that's, that's, that looks really good. Yeah. So that's, that's actually what makes Swedish meatballs Swedish meatballs, is that you use all those three types of meat. So there's not, there's, there should be pork, veal, and beef. All three. Yeah. And so what you should start off with is, is soaking uh, the breadcrumbs in cream. Okay. All right. Let's see here. So make make the breadcrumbs moist. Okay. So then uh, you can combine all three meats. Okay. And add the salt with the meats. Yeah. Combine that to one giant pile. Do you have a bowl? Do you have a bowl to mix everything yeah. in? There, that's good. All okay. right. So combine the three meats in there. So we're gonna go all, uh, all three of these. Mix those three meats uh, into one bowl. Alright. You can add a little bit of it, and then you add uh, salt. Okay. So what do you have there? So we have some nutmeg. Yeah. Cloves and allspice. Yeah. Okay. You can take a pinch of of uh, each one. Like that much? Yeah, I mean this very depends on how much you like the spices. My kids aren't that fan of these dried spices, so I, when I cook them at home I, I take down the spice a little bit, but in the restaurant I use quite a lot of it, so it's, it's, it's very up to you. I like spice, so uh, okay, one of each. Yeah, go ahead. Alright, so I got all three. And then you can add the breadcrumbs and the egg. Now you can also put a pan on the heat, so we have a pan. Okay, great. Uh, so I guess I mix all this together? Yes, every, now everything is mixed. mixing. Oh, by the way, am I supposed to add the onions to this while I'm mixing it? Yes, you can mix the onions, yeah. Oh, okay. So shape uh, them into golf ball sizes. Maybe that's a little big. That's let's see. Yeah. Is that a golf ball or is it a baseball? <laughs> um, let's see here. Maybe that's a bit big. Let's see. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so the secret when cooking meatballs is having a hot pan and not adding the butter to start off with, but put a little bit of oil in there. Okay, that's good. Great. Just so, um, regular cooking oil. Yeah, put that, put that in the pan in like a tablespoon. One tablespoon, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... Uh, okay. Add the, the meatball. Yeah, there you go. pink at all. Okay, good. Then they're done. Okay, so I'll take them off. Yep. You can add a little bit of cream into the pan to make a sauce. 
Oh, okay. So it's poured yeah, out the whole So then when you, you let the, the cook a little bit, uh, mix, 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 m